Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. So in this video what we're going to be doing is running over how you can use Things 3 in your daily routine. Now this video is going to cover some of the functions and features that they have inside of here that apply to some of your situations that you can uh, explore. So the one thing that I'm going to start off with is sort of running over the sort of menu. So we've got inbox up here. Now, whenever I recommend a to-do list application, I always try to recommend uh, having an inbox function. Now, an inbox is basically a great way to capture tasks. So, for example, in my day, I will literally just pop in tasks like um, uh, make sure to uh, register to vote, for example, is something that's on my mind at the moment. Make sure to register to vote. And I'll add that as a do. As you can see, I didn't add any context points to it. I'm literally just dumping things in here. Now the idea of the dumping tasks inside of here is actually just to clear your mind. So uh, update uh, water bills. There we go, Up oh, there we go. And I can start adding these uh, tasks in here. So they serve as almost a way for me to process them for later. So what I'll do is maybe at the end of my day is I'll go to here and I'll go, okay, what do I need to add to them in terms of context? Do I need to apply them to projects like here and just drag them in? Or do I need to complete them because they're not relevant anymore? Or do I need to move them to a certain day uh, and move them forward? So that is a handy feature to have in terms of inbox. Inbox sits up here, which is quite nice in things. Uh, as you can see, today is very similar to like my day inside of um, Microsoft To Do. But you've got these uh, work and hi, as you can see, I've created um, some tags. So if I wanted to add more tags inside of here, if I wanted to add my own ones, you can add all of the ones that you've got here. But if I wanted to add, uh, so for example, five minutes, I can create my own little tag now, and that will associate to five minutes. So I can see all of the tasks I complete in five minutes. So today is really going to be your hub, your base for the day. So what tasks are you going to complete there? Now inside the Todoist, I like the fact that they have the uh, indication of what tasks I've got up next. However, obviously, of course, you can assign a add reminder so it nudges you. Um, and of course, you can tick them off as you go throughout your day and you sort of understand what the most priority ones are. Because if I wanted to click the most priority, I could use a tags function to quickly go in there, which is very helpful. Now, as you can see, I've added as many possible touch points as I can to this one here. You can add obviously as many tags as you like, checklists, notes, which is very handy if in case you wanted a website add link in there. You can obviously move around your checklist uh, quite easily. You can add uh, it to this evening, and I'll uh, demonstrate what that is. You can add a deadline as well. Um, so for example, if I click off that, it breaks today into two segments, the regular task for today and into this evening. So if I was on the way home and I could pick up some stuff, that's pretty helpful. So the good thing about this evening is if I wanted to associate uh, things like watch um, Broad Church, which is a program that I'll watch in the evening, um, and something that's at home, then I can quickly add that and it will just dump inside of the this evening's um, tab, which is quite nice. So you're able to quickly make yourself up uh, in terms of uh, to do. So the other thing that you need to notice here is control or command N, which will be command N or Mac. Um, you can quickly add tasks as well and it will add it to the to do. The only thing I don't like inside of things uh, three is the ability. So when you click off something, it doesn't it, it, that should go away really, uh, that should be deleted because that's not got anything in. So starting something, even if you had like to, then that should be fine because if you click off it, then yeah, technically it's a task. Um, but yes, so that's something that I probably would mention to change. The other thing I really like inside of Things 3 is let's say you want to look in advance of all of your up upcoming events. Even tasks and to do uh, and, and uh, events, you can have them all here. So I can see old France I've got here, my the birthdays, uh, and as you can see, I've got uh, events, uh, to-dos appearing there as well. So you've got all of the deadlines, all of the events, and all of the to-dos all appearing here. Now, any time is a good one here because you can add any tasks that you can appear that can associate to any time, that you can complete any time. Uh, so it's almost like a massive overview of all of the layers that you've added to uh, your Things account. You've also got some days, so if you want to add any some days there, um, and of course you can change that, so you can add it to today if it becomes a possibility, but you can just add all of the things that you would like to do, and it could even be like, uh, watch the new Alien movie. Uh, 
and uh, go swimming with dolphins. You know, there's, is that, I think that's how you spell, no, it's not how you spell dolphins. Um, but the, the, the good thing is you've got this like sort of, oh, yeah, you've got this sort of like uh, cut out circle around here because they're like future things that you don't necessarily need to add. Long book is a nice one because like, for example, you can see today and, and it cuts it down into certain things. You can actually tick off items and you can break it down by a tag. So if you wanted at the end of the day to like sit down and go, okay, what did I actually complete today? Maybe you would make a new window so you can do that inside of things. You can go and just keep that as your focus. You can actually uh, sit down and work out what you did in the day, uh, which is quite nice. You can have a trash box, so if you delete any old projects and things like that, then you can find it really quickly using the trash. And you can actually empty the trash too, so that's a nice way. And trash will disappear when you don't need it. So you can also add areas and things, uh, er sorry, areas and projects. Projects can be associated to areas. So for example, I have these, so you can add new projects here. Um, uh, buy a house, that could be a good project. And here you could have, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna remove that one. Uh, markers, so, oh, when you, when you complete a task, you can actually remove that. So you can actually uh, complete a task. And as you can see, the pie icon went. But let's just create a new project, another one, uh, like buy a dog. These are all goals here. Uh, and you can associate it to, so there you go, they both associate to family because they're underneath it and they're embedded inside it. But if I wanted that to be separate, um, I just have to remove it from there. So that's very cool. You can create your new areas. So for example, I wanted work as a new area and I wanted to create a new task for it, uh, like uh, uh, YouTube, and that's a new project. Then you can have all these areas uh, sort of float down. So that's quite nice having like a base. So with areas, you can add tags, uh, you can add, uh, you can see all your projects at a glance and any tasks associated to areas. So for example, if I was inside of here and I was like, okay, Broad Church is technically family, so I will dump it here, and you can see it will bring it to family, go to area, and you can see that that is an association to family. Uh, and as you can see, you can do that. So with projects, you can add completed, when, add set, tags, add deadline, and duplicate it, etc. So there's quite a lot of functionality there. So if I ever needed to find a task, I would hit the uh, quick find, or you can switch lists uh, and search tags as well. So if I wanted to look at home tags, or I wanted to quickly go to like buy a dog, and I can find it there. So that's really, really easy. And as you can see, everything looks super simple and well designed. Anyway guys, I hope that gave you like a nice overview of how you can utilize uh, things in your daily routine because it's something that has recently come out and I know a lot of people want to find sort of context to being able to use it. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.